It's a dinosaur! It's a frog! No, it's Yoshi! Yoshi, the loyal steed of Mario and Friends, has been a part of the Nintendo crew tracing back to his debut in Super Mario World. Since then, he has evolved from humble beast of burden to a playable character, a plumber babysaver, and a fighter capable of taking on some of the top competitors of the Nintendo universe. But there are hundreds, maybe thousands of beings belonging to the sentient species of dinosaur known as Yoshi. What makes this particular green Yoshi so special? Personally, I like this purple one, but she doesn't get to hang with the Mario crew. How did this Yoshi become the dino frog shoe-wearing, egg-throwing, and day-saving badass we know today? To find out, let's do some digesting and poop out the story you never knew. <laughs> Let's go back to Yoshi's roots, and by that I mean his poops. Yoshi may have made his first appearance in Super Mario World, but chronologically his debut is in Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, where Mario and Luigi are being carried by a stork and who really believes in the stork? Of all the stupid things we tell our kids, that is the stupidest. No son, you weren't brought here by a magical bird. Mommy and daddy had sex. Ugh. Kamek attacks the stork, dropping baby Mario and kidnapping Luigi. Tiny baby Mario falls to certain death until... Oh, well wouldn't you believe that he landed on Yoshi's back? Our favorite green dino frog takes the young plumber back to his clan and they argue about what to do with this helpless infant. But baby Mario uses super realistic telepathic twin powers to find Luigi's exact location. Taking initiative, Yoshi puts Mario on his saddle and convinces is the rest of his brethren to use a dino relay system to transport the future Italian stereotype to his now distant brother. Brilliant! And with that, Yoshi makes the worst impulse decision of his life and decides to tie himself to this boring as fuck plumber for the rest of eternity by vowing to bring Mario to Bowser's castle. What are you doing, Yoshi? It's dangerous to go alone, but taking this baby is even worse. Somehow they progress through each level as as the different hues of Yoshi take turns dutifully carrying the poopy pants Mario. Eventually, they arrive at Bowser's castle as Yoshi defeats Baby Bowser and a magically transformed giant Baby Bowser. Take that, you giant baby! I like my babies normal sized, thank you very much. While there seems to be a lot of baby references in this game, the character who showed himself as anything but is our egg-tossing protagonist, Yoshi. Yoshi. Perhaps his behavior in Super Mario World 2 can give us a clue as to why this particular green Yoshi is the one etched in our hearts. While discussing what to do with that dumbass baby, it's Yoshi that steps up and takes the little bastard on his back. It's our green Yoshi that comes up with the amazing Dino Relay System, an invention that sounds like it would have been a real hit during the Triassic. Boy, those were the days. While these multicolored Colored fucks were jumping around like dino idiots, our boy Yoshi was like, I got this. And finally, not only does Yoshi take charge in the beginning, but he finishes at the end, as he is the dino that defeats Baby Bowser. There's a word for someone who steps up and takes the reins when tough decisions need to be made? For someone who leads. Is it take the lead engineer? Maybe lead taker extraordinaire? No, um, oh yeah, a leader. And that's exactly what Yoshi has shown himself to be during the events of Super Mario World 2. But on second thought, our Yoshi was the one who was lucky enough to have a baby plummeting at terminal velocity bonk his head. Maybe this was just a fluke, and a more general incident would leave Yoshi on the sidelines, lost amongst the crowd of dinos with the exact same name. Yoshi? Is that you? Damn it! The green one! Fuck! 
With the colorful landscape of Yoshi's Island behind us, let us turn to the original Super Mario World to explore Yoshi's distinguished place in Dino Society. The title where the video game playing masses were introduced to this lovable sort of reptile, Super Mario World pits dinosaur-like creature against dinosaur-like creature as Bowser magically encases Yoshian friends in Yoshi eggs. Apparently taking place before Yoshi knew how to use eggs as a defense weapon, our dino homie must rely on Mario for help. Now all grown up and slightly fat, Mario is able to rescue Yoshi from his polka dotted prison. Free at last, Yoshi introduces himself to the awaiting public with these famous first words. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me! My name is Yoshi! On my way to rescue my friends, Bowser trapped me in that egg! Strange, Yoshi doesn't even seem to remember Mario, even though he's wearing the same disgusting hat he wore all those years ago. So a good memory probably isn't what makes Yoshi special. Maybe he's had a few too many special brownies between games. But what does distinguish our green friend from the rest? We know he's a natural born leader from Super Mario World 2, but what clues can we collect from this original incarnation? Let's take a look at each Yoshi's behavior to figure it out. Throughout Super Mario World, Jumpman rides on a plethora of Yoshi spanning many colors. They are loyal, faithful steeds, until Mario gets hit, then they run away. If you look closely at these Yoshi, it appears that they get frightened, scared off upon contact. So for the entire time during Mario's adventure, each Yoshi is scared shitless, ready to bolt at a moment's notice? And our Yoshi is no different? God damn it, Yoshi! Maybe we shouldn't have made a video about you! But before we regret our decision to not make another Five Nights at Freddy's video, let's look at the real truth that shines through Yoshi's first words. On my way to rescue my friends, Bowser trapped me in that egg! Our green Yoshi is the only one to say anything like this, or anything at all for that matter. As far as we can tell, our Yoshi is the only dino brave enough to go on a mission to save his friends. And on top of that, he's so scared that the smallest enemy contact causes him to flee. Real bravery isn't the absence of fear, but taking action in the face of it. And that's exactly what Yoshi does. We've seen that our Yoshi exhibits leadership and bravery beyond that of his dino brethren, but is there anything else that puts him above the rest? Well yes actually, according to some sweet wiki pages, our Yoshi is the only one of his kind that can communicate with humans. Hell, he may be the only dino Dinosaur to ever communicate with humans. Oh, I, I had repressed those memories. Never meet Barney in person, kids. Just don't. Terrible past experiences implied to be of a sexual nature aside, these are very unique qualities for a Yoshi to have. Leadership, bravery, and communication skills are great qualities on any resume, and I'm sure Mario thought the same. Needless to say, there are many things that make this Yoshi special besides his brownies. Of course, that's taking all in-game lore as fact, but what if we were to go deeper than face value? What if the real reason our green Yoshi is THE Yoshi is because of a Nintendo character you've never heard of? A game called Devil World was released in Japan in October of 1984. The title has the odd distinction of being the only game designed by Shigeru Miyamoto that wasn't released in North America. Devil World is also home to the creature known as Tamagon, its protagonist. The similarities to Yoshi are obvious. The eyes, the spikes, and most of all, the color. Tamagon is essentially a baby green Yoshi with wings. Is that the only reason Yoshi is green? Are all the positive qualities we've talked about simply symptoms of a cause that has a lot more to do with logistics than high-minded ideals like leadership and bravery? You're busting my balls, Miyamoto! But I can't stay mad at you, Sigeru. Because there's one last nugget of information that ties this story together in a way that you never knew. Yoshi is actually a Japanese interjection meaning great. While a lot of Yoshi's qualities are clearly derived from Tamagon, there is one reason that our Yoshi is THE Yoshi. He's the greatest of all Yoshis. Yoshi is a born leader with true bravery and Nintendo ancestry to back up his claim. 
Our green companion was not chosen by chance, but because he possesses the qualities of a true dino hero. It could have been any Yoshi who could communicate with humans or be derived from Tamagon or have the leadership qualities to take on Bowser. But it wasn't just any Yoshi, it was this Yoshi. The one Yoshi to rule them all. And that's the story you never knew. What's up guys? As always, hope you liked the video. This is special because the good folks at Gigantic supplied us with a bunch of beta keys that we're going to be passing along to you guys. Gigantic is basically this really fun up and coming indie game that we had the pleasure of playing when we were up at PAX Prime. We absolutely loved it and we want to pass it on to you all. So how this is going to work is if you go and follow us on Twitter, we're actually going to announce how to win on that social media platform. And also if you tune into our live stream, the YouTube gaming live stream, we'll be uh, giving away a bunch of those keys in the chat. So these are only gonna be available for a very short amount of time. So be sure to jump on that as quickly as possible and best of luck and we love you guys and we'll see you in the next video.